Well, across our region, we are once again waking up to cold temperatures and we actually haven't seen above freezing temperatures since Friday and things are going to be pretty cold throughout the rest of the day today, but we are tracking slightly warmer conditions. Overall, we do still have those wind chill alerts for far southeastern Missouri, but we're not really seeing too much on our regional satellite and radar this hour. But again, we do still have a wind chill advisory for far southeastern Missouri and also northern Tennessee for wind chill values that could be as much as 10 to 15 degrees below zero, and that's set to expire here in just a couple of hours at about 10 o'clock this morning. We are tracking slightly warmer temperatures for your afternoon, but it is absolutely still going to be cold out there this morning, but we are tracking a lot of sunshine for the afternoon before a wintry mix works its way into our region. In Metropolis, we're seeing a temperature of five degrees with a feels like a five, so we're already seeing slightly warmer temperatures than what we were seeing this time yesterday, and it's eight degrees in Carbondale, three degrees in Dixon Springs, five in Paducah, and three down towards the southwest into portions of Poplar Bluff, but all of us are still waking up to actual air temperatures that are below 10 degrees. And when you factor in the wind chill, it's feeling like minus five around Carbondale and minus nine into portions of Farmington. As you go throughout the rest of your morning, know that temperatures are going to be into the single digits. However, we will still have those mostly sunny skies, but we could see a temperature of about 10 degrees by the time we make it to eight o'clock this morning. And temperatures are going to warm up ever so slightly as we go through the afternoon hours. We could hit a high today of about 30 to 31 degrees degrees, but notice that our wind chill today is likely only going to be topping out in the upper teens to maybe about 20 degrees, but certainly a lot warmer than where we have been over the last couple of days. We're tracking a lot of sunshine for the afternoon today, but you're going to want to keep your storm track three app handy for tomorrow. Running the clock forward to about nine o'clock this evening, you can see that we are going to have some clouds back towards the west. They're going to work their way towards the south and towards the east, and by four o'clock tomorrow morning, we could see a few light snow showers in our region, and those light snow showers are going to be tracking into our region through about seven o'clock tomorrow morning before we see a little bit of a transition over to a wintry mix, mainly south and east of the Ohio River into portions of western Kentucky before light snow showers re-enter the region. I'm not expecting any major accumulations with this system as we have a 0% chance of seeing two inches of snow across our entire region. I think the most amount of accumulation that we could see is maybe up to a half inch on grassier surfaces where that snow falls first. Behind that, we are tracking more Arctic air that's going to be moving into our region, especially as we get into the weekend. And our highs are going to be running pretty cold with highs running in the lower 20s and up upper teens for Friday and Saturday and both Friday and Saturday morning. We could see those dangerous wind chills return to our region with wind chills getting as much as 10 to 15 degrees below zero once again. But once we hit those warmer temperatures on Sunday, we're only going to get warmer next six to 10 days. We are running well above average in terms of temperatures, so we just got to get through this next cold stretch. We're going to see a high once again today of about 30 degrees, 32 for tomorrow, so we are probably going to get pretty close to freezing 21 for Friday, and then we're going to see the teens re-enter the forecast for Saturday with a high of 19, 30 for the day on Sunday, and then we're going to see, Rachel, those highs get into the upper 30s, upper 40s for Tuesday, and then look at that, low 50s are back on the board finally for our region. Well, it looks like there is hope in sight. Yes, there is, absolutely. <laughs> Thanks, Garrett.